Hey guys, Julian Lello here and I hope you're all keeping well. So one of the many jobs that I've given myself during this quarantine period is to update my website. And just yesterday I got to the about page and realized that the profile picture I have of myself on there is quite a dated one. I think it was taken about two, maybe even three years ago. So seeing as though I'm stuck indoors and I have no one else to take an updated photo for me, I figured why not give a self portrait a try. So I've got two ideas in mind. I'm gonna shoot them both here in my office where I film all my videos. Um, the first one being a really simple one, just with this wall behind me with the frame and the door frame giving a bit of dimension and framing to the image and using natural light. You can see I've got a diffuser set up on uh, the window. I mentioned how important a reflector was in my last video. And this is the inside of the five-in-one reflector. So it's just a translucent inner of the reflector and it just helps diffuse the light a little bit. So then the second self-portrait I was thinking was to set up a backdrop with a black sheet hanging down. The idea behind these portraits is to reflect the creative side of my work, but I didn't want them to be too out there or creative. I wanted them to still have a really nice professional element to them. So my thought was to have the actual stand of the backdrop in the frame of the photo, just to show that I am on studio or am on location, um, to give that sort of creative feel to it. So today I'll be shooting with the Canon 5D Mark IV, which you can see set up in the corner here. It's got a 24 to 70, 2.8 lens set up on it. I'll be setting the camera up to have a two second delay, but be triggering it with my phone on the Canon uh, Camera Connect app. So if you don't have uh, Wi-Fi on your camera, that's fine and you can't trigger it with a phone. What I suggest is having a 10 second timer set up and to make sure you get focus, set yourself up or set a lamp or something up, an object up where you're gonna be sitting or standing. Focus on that point by half pressing down the shutter on the camera. Once that's in focus, that point, flip your lens from autofocus to manual. So that'll set that focal point so that then so long as you're sitting in that position or standing in that position that you're focused on, you'll be in focus. So you can just trigger your camera off, run back to that spot, 10 seconds later, bang, your shutter will go off. So I think that's about it. Let's uh, get into these portraits. So I've just had a little review of some of the photos that have come through onto my phone. And what I've noticed is with the light being so subtle coming in from the window on the left hand side, the shadow on my, the right side of my face, although really nice and moody, is quite dark. So what I wanna try is putting up a white reflector just to see if I can bounce a little bit of light back and soften off that shadow just a little bit. Now on the note of posing, usually I am on the other side of the camera and although I can direct a model, I'm not great on this side of the camera myself. So what I did last night, I went through Pinterest and created a little bit of a board of self-portrait ideas. Um, so sticking with the concept that I had in my head, just a few little poses, a few little styles, um, things that were gonna help me today. Now this is something that is really important for any sort of fashion or portrait shoot. It helps keep a shoot on track and if you can pr prepare this and send it through to the model, stylist, makeup artists, all before the shoot date, this can really help uh, everybody be on the same page uh, when it comes to the day of the shoot. So this is something I do for all my portrait and fashion shoots. If you wanna check out my Pinterest, I'll leave a link in the description and you can get an idea of how I create these boards. Okay, so I think we're done with that first portrait style. So what I'm gonna do now is hang the black backdrop and take a few more shots. I've used two lighting stands and a little aluminum crossbar, all which I purchased on Amazon and just hung the fabric with some spring clamps. It's a really inexpensive and lightweight, um, really portable way to mix up your photo shoots, whether they be fashion or portrait shoots. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. I'll probably zoom out and go a little bit wider as well. I might stand for these ones, zoom out. I wanna get the spring clamp in the image as well. Again, just adding to that studio type feel. So 
So one more thing I think I might try uh, before I wrap it up is I wouldn't mind trying a black t-shirt on this black background so that I kind of like blend in, maybe even get the black reflector up on my right hand side to make that shadow on the right hand side a little bit more harsh. I'm gonna set up a black reflector, black t-shirt and see if that creates a little bit more of a moody, more interesting vibe. So it does look really great with the black reflector on this side. It's added a little bit more shadow, but I think I need to bring it in a little bit closer to my face to really absorb a little bit more of that light and create a harsher shadow on this side. All right, I think that about wraps it up i think we've got everything so um let's get these onto the computer work out uh which one is going to be the new profile picture on the website right guys so if you've made it this far i do applaud you because you've sat through more photos of me than anyone should ever have to in a lifetime but i hope you also got a few tips and tricks out of it on how to shoot a professional looking self-portrait or even portrait at home using natural light here are my two favorites from the shoot, the ones I'm thinking of putting up on my website. If you've got an opinion on either of these that I should use or any other photo from the video, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, thank you for pressing play.